What is bilateral cross-cousin marriage? A lecture by Kendall House, Boise State University. All figures in this presentation were created by Kendall House. Our goal in this short lecture is to distinguish these terms. Patrilateral versus matrilateral cousin, parallel versus cross cousins, bilateral cross cousins, and then to answer this question, what is bilateral cross cousin marriage? To do this, we'll start with ego and give ego some first cousins. So a cousin is just the offspring of two siblings, two or more siblings. So we all know that our cousins are the offspring of the siblings of our parents. So we'll give Ego a father, marry his father to a mother, and then we're going to give Ego's mother a sister, marked with a Z, and in kinship diagrams in anthropology, the Z means sister. We're then going to give that sister some children, and we'll call those cousins. The reason why ego is a square and so is the cousin is because gender is irrelevant. And so I'm using the square to mark either gender. We can also give the mother's brother what we would call an uncle some offspring. And those are also our first cousins. Remember that Z is sister. Now we can sort these first cousins out by side. <clears throat> so the cousins on the father's side of the family, we call those patrilateral cousins. And those on the mother's side are matrilateral cousins. We can make a finer distinction. And this is a distinction between parallel and cross. We're going to start with parallel cousins. Parallel cousins are simply offspring of siblings of the same gender. We mark those with two parallel lines. So this means, assuming that your father has siblings and your mother has siblings, you have two kinds of parallel cousins. On the father's side, you have patrilateral parallel cousins. And those are the children of your father's brother or brothers. On your mother's side, you have matrilateral parallel cousins. And those are the children of your mother's sister or sisters. And again, we're marking these with squares because they could be either gender. It doesn't matter at the level of the children. When you're determining cross and parallel, you look at the siblings who are having children, not at the gender of the children. So. Cross cousins, on the other hand, are offspring of opposite gender siblings, and we mark those with an X. Again, you have two kinds of cross siblings, or cross cousins. We have patrilateral cross cousins. Those are the offspring of your father's sister's children, or your father's sisters. And we have matrilateral cross cousins. Those are the offspring of your mother's brother. So we have that marked FZC, that's father's sister's children and MBC, mother's brother's children. The cross in gender is in the parent's generation. And that's again because cousin are the offspring of siblings. So we have to look at the generation of ego's parents to determine cross and parallel. That's all that matters in terms of the gender, the parent's gender. If we add all of these up, we come up with four kinds of cross cousin, four kinds of cousins. We have patrilateral cross and parallel cousins. We have matrilateral cross and parallel cousins. So this brings us to our big question. What is a bilateral cross cousin? And remember that bilateral means both sides. So somehow a bilateral cross cousin has to be a cousin on both sides. How can that happen? So we're going to do a thought experiment and imagine that two sets of siblings are out wandering around in the desert and they manage to bump into one another. 
So we have a brother and a sister who we'll call green brother and sister. And a second pair of siblings, red brother and sister. And they bump into each other and they've been wandering a long time so they decide to immediately get married. So green man marries red woman and red man marries green woman. Each of these couples has a child. And this is where we can start to understand the meaning of a bilateral cross cousin. We do this by looking closely at their relationships through their parents. We're going to call the offspring of green man and red woman W. That's the orange triangle. He happens to be Mel. And fortunately, the offspring of red triangle and green woman, K, is female. So we'll start from K's perspective and look at the relationship between K and W. So Y is K's mother, and X is the brother of her mother. He's the mother's brother, and this means W is the mother's brother's son from the perspective of K. That means that from K's perspective, W is her matrilateral cross cousin. We can also, though, look at her relationship to W through her father, B. So B is K's father, and A is father's sister. And if we look at W from that perspective, then W is father's sister's son. That is to say, for K, she's also his patrilateral cross cousin. So this means from both sides, he's a cross cousin to K. He's the mother's brother's son and the father's sister's son. And this applies reciprocally. So if we look at it from the perspective of W, an X is his father, and Y is the father's sister. So this means for, through that tie, K is his father's sister's daughter. But if we look at the relationship between W and K through W's mother, which is marked A, A is his mom, B is his mother's brother, this means that K, through his mother, is the mother's brother's daughter. So again, we find that she's a bilateral cross-cousin to W. She's simultaneously the mother's brother's daughter and the father's sister's daughter. And they stand in that bilateral relation to each other. That makes them bilateral cross-cousins. Now, if they get married, this is what we call a bilateral cross-cousin marriage. That's when W marries K, and they're bilateral cross-cousins to each other. W is the mother's brother's son and father's sister's son in rel relative to K, and K is the mother's brother's daughter and also the father's sister's daughter relative to W. That's all.